How's everybody doing? Loving the conference, great turnout. So for those of you who don't know me, I've been in the financial newsletter industry for over 25 years. And actually I've been in the financial newsletter industry for all my life. So my late dad was a financial newsletter writer for over 25 years. And it was cool talking stocks with him at the dinner table and going to CNBC with him. Because believe it or not, my dad was actually a big shot. And a lot of people think their dads are big shots. But he was actually the, he was on CNBC all the time. He was on Bloomberg all the time. He won the Wall Street Journal stock picking contest six consecutive times. So that was a record. Barron's called him one of the best stock pickers. And he used to take me around and you know when he did these live interviews and stuff like that. And as a kid, I actually met Warren Buffett. So I was, uh, yeah, my dad was on TV, Warren Buffett was after him, and then my dad was talking to him, and I was like this little kid tugging on his shirt, saying, Dad, you know, you should get his business card. And you know, I never forget what my dad said. He said, you know what? He goes, son, he's like, guys like that don't carry business cards. So I kind of know what he's talking about as I grew up. So back then in the newsletter industry, it was pretty cool. I mean, everybody turned to it. Individual investors like you guys turned to that industry to get away from Wall Street to get the real story. And if you were very good, you were on shows like Louis Rukeyser, you were, you know, CNBC, you didn't have to make these bold predictions to get on TV and stuff like that. So it was really cool. It was an industry that you could trust, right, for individual investors. But over the past five years, we've seen a dramatic change in this industry where it's not about the individual investors anymore. It's more about the publishers. It's more about these huge, massive promotions. You're gonna generate 20,000% returns in a couple of weeks. It's pretty crazy when you hear some of those things. And what happens? Well, they get you in on the top of trends like cryptocurrency in 2018, marijuana recently, when a lot of these things and the cycles crash because it's easy to sell things when everybody's talking about it. Usually from an investment perspective, someone's been doing this all my life, it's the worst time to get in. You want to get in before people are talking about it. And that's what my presentation is going to be about. So you see these massive promotions come out, the publishers do great, they do fantastic. They hire big name people who know nothing about finance a lot of times. And a lot of these competitors of mine, I have a lot of friends, I'm not talking about everybody, I respect my competitors. They pay these politicians, high profile people, they make money, and then you get in the top of the trend and you usually get smoked in a lot of these picks. And I know this because I travel all over. So I'm at this conference, I don't know how, no, if you know how difficult it is to get here from North Florida. <laughs> I get a four hour layover on the way home, it's, I had to wake up four in the morning to come here. I spoke at the San Francisco conference, and mining isn't the only industry I cover, I cover all industries. And a couple of weeks ago I was at the Consumer Electronics Show, Look at my Twitter feed, at Frank Curzio, just using new technologies, playing ping pong against robots, trying to find new ideas for investors. That's our job, that's our responsibility. For you, that's what you're paying for. So two years ago, I decided, you know, let me set out and try to change this business and started my own company, Curzio Research. And thus far, we're off to a great start. Now, first 20 months, 24 months, we did six million in sales. We only had 25,000 free names on our list, and that's in November. We have over 40,000 now, so we're growing pretty fast. To put that in perspective, our largest competitor generated $2 billion in sales over the same time frame. So over 300 times our sales. Sounds crazy, right? But the financial newsletter business is the most high margin scalable business on the planet. I know, I've analyzed tens of thousands of companies over my lifetime. It's a very good business. Your unit costs are the most right at the start, and then it's a matter of giving people passwords, and you can scale it tremendously. So you spend a little to make a lot. They have tens of millions of names on their list. Again, we only have 25,000. I'm gonna go a little into the numbers. This is gonna be the only slide I have with numbers, because I know I do presentations all the time, and I watch presentations. I don't wanna bore you to death. It's gonna get some really exciting stuff in a second. So our revenue per name, our industry standard, is $12, and right now, we're at $122, that's revenue per subscriber. So ours is 12 times better. Our return on ad spend, think of, that's an important metric in our business like subscriber growth this is social media companies like, or Netflix. So return on ad spend, gold standard is 70, 70%. We're generating a, more than break even on day one. And if you look at day 30, the gold standard is break even and ours is over 700%, granted, 
as crazy as that number sounds, is because when I started my business, people have been following me for 25 years and they were gonna subscribe just like if you started your own business, you have followers. But this shows us what we're doing is working. Why? Because we did something absolutely crazy, absolutely nuts. We started providing a lot of free content to everybody. So I see a lot of people here who I see at conferences all the time, but, and they know about my podcast, Wall Street Unplugged. It's ranked number one on iTunes, which is a free service where I interview some of the top names on Wall Street, most of the CEOs here that you see. I've been doing it for a very long time. Built up a big network. Talking Socks Over Beer, that's from Mike Alka in the back of the room, who works for us as well, because your research writes a great newsletter. And we have a weekly breakdown where we take the best stories from the week because there's so much noise out there these days, and send it to you, and all this stuff is for free. Why would we do that? It's kind of the Dollar Shave model. So what did the Dollar Shave Club do? They said, okay, here's your razor for a dollar, and why do they do it for a dollar? They're losing money at a dollar. But they know they have a great product, and they want to get it out to everybody. So when people sampled it, they bought their subscription for $9.99 a month, and that's how they competed and disrupted the entire razor industry built multi-billion dollar companies. A few years later, what happened? They sold their company for more than a billion dollars to Unilever. With us, we like to give away free stuff. We wanna get people to our platform. Why? Because once you become a subscriber and once you see our content, you're gonna notice that our content is original. You're gonna get original ideas. Because I'm at this conference, I'm talking to CEOs, I'm at the Consumer Electronics Show. A couple of weeks ago, again, flying from Florida across the country, Hell, I even got shot. I'm not kidding you. I got shot by the police of all polices. He's a chief of, of chief polices. And they came out with a new weapon. It's not lethal, obviously, because I'm still here. And I wanted to sample and test it out. And it's going to replace tasers. It's something that I think you can generate 10, 20 times on. I went to New York City, talked to the CEO, and I actually had one of these cops shoot me with this device. Yes, it hurt. But that's the type of research we do. Again, that's what you should demand for your money. Right, the guy getting up there and getting shot. You believe me, you, everybody will see pretty soon we're putting everything together. But you're gonna find ideas you're not gonna find it anywhere else. And we deliver on our promises. If we say we think something's gonna go up 10X over five years, it's because we put numbers and research behind it. We're not saying Bitcoin's going to a million. Let me see your research. Don't worry about it, it's going to a million. That's what the financial new newsletter industry turned to. I mean, it's worse than Wall Street now. I mean, that's how bad it is. And more important with our company is we invest in our own ideas. This is important, I want you to think about this. So next time, and how many of you uh, subscribe to a financial newsletter, if it's mine or somebody else's? Okay, so you're probably getting lots of promotions every single day telling you that a stock's gonna go up 20X tomorrow. The next time you get one of those promotions, our competitors, they do not allow those people writing those newsletters to invest in those ideas. Think about that for a minute. So they're telling you a stock's gonna go up 20X, 30X, you're gonna be a millionaire next year, but they're not investing in it. Now if that was you, would you give that pick to everybody else or would you do what's the best interest in your family and buy that stock and generate that money yourselves? We invest in our own ideas. Taking it to the next level. Our numbers are working. We have a management team in place that has over 100 years of combined experience. We have the data analytics already set. And now we're looking to raise money to build our company. We wanna build our list, get our name out there more, because we know when people start seeing us and see the original ideas, they're paying for our content. They know we're for real. There's a lot of talent out there. I've been in this industry, I told you a couple of times, for 25 years. I know almost everyone in this industry and the talent that has come to us that wanna to come to our firm and work is humbling. Being very careful about it, if any of you started your own companies, you know, when you're growing fast, you want to do 20 different things, so we want to grow our company and we want to create more products tailored to the individual investor. We listen to our clients, what kind of products they want, income related, they want things, what are the best Dow components to buy right now? Distressed debt newsletters. These are the people we're going to put in front of you. We want to be on par with our competitors and our largest competitor that I told you generated $2 billion over the last two years. It's not like we're competing with Google or Oracle. They do not have anything proprietary. They're good marketers. They don't have patents. They've just been so big that they've never been challenged. And again, a lot of these people are my friends and they're cool and they're not bad guys or anything, but they really haven't been challenged in the last 20 years. Now here's where things get interesting. I'm sure a lot of you came here. 
we're going to raise money doing something original. And we're going to create the first ever security token offering. It's going to give investors an equity stake. We're going to still have 25% stake in our company. That means you actually own our company. You're not buying a newsletter and you're in these clubs. No. You own our company. You're part of our growth. You're a partner. Now, before I get into the deal, I want to go over security tokens. And please, if you can, take notes. I mean, I, I pride myself on trying to bring trends to you, going, hopping on oil rigs in 2010 and 11 for Shell Oil, AI, uh, seeing Chamber speech. Uh, you know, I've attended the Consumer Electronics Show for eight years in a row when he was saying the Internet of Things is going to create 10 billion devices. I thought he was nuts. It turned out to be very conservative. Again, AI, smart cities, smart homes, everything. I try to bring these trends early because that's where you make the most money. Security tokens, this industry, is the biggest thing that I've seen in my career. Tokens, or tokenization, they're gonna be similar to stocks. Don't think of the current crypto market right now. Those are utility tokens, they don't give you an equity stake. A lot of investors do not know that. There's a reason why that market is crashing right now. When you're looking at utility tokens, they only give you a right to their products and services. What does that mean? That means if their market cap for their token is $2 million and Google says, hey, I love your technology, we're gonna pay 50 billion for it, and you own that token, you get nothing. You do not own equity in the tokens right now. That's why most of these, 90% that I've researched, are gonna to go to zero, because you have no equity stake, only a right to use their products and services for companies that still don't even exist. This new market is gonna be different. It's crypto 2.0, using the blockchain. You're going to have equity stakes. They're going to pay dividends. And it's a much better alternative. So I've been doing this for a long time. If I wanted to do a traditional private placement, I could do that and raise money. Why would I do it this way? Because for me, it's a much, much cheaper alternative. You eliminate the middlemen. I don't have to go to brokerage firms and pay them a fortune. All that money goes into the company. We can use it to grow the company. Why is it good for you? If you came in through a regular private placement, your liquidity event is an IPO, if I go public, or if I get acquired. How long does that take? An average of seven to 10 years your money's gonna be locked up for. With this token, which is gonna be available to credit investors, after one year, you could trade it, which is pretty cool. Now I know what you're thinking. This guy's crazy. He has no idea what he's talking about. I am very, very, very early to this. I have great contacts, and everybody I sit down with and explain it to pretty much get very excited, but they're waiting for me to see if you know, our token goes well and everything goes well. But listen to a couple of people what they're saying. Overstock CEO Patrick Byrne, one day all company shares would be blockchain-based, equity tokens, class of securities, and they would need a regulated exchange to trade on. A lot of people, you know, Overstock guys, I'll give you a pick, you should buy Overstock right now. It was 80, and it's 15. They're launching their T0 exchange next week to trade these security tokens. Daniel Pinto, co-president of JP Morgan, says, to me, the tokenization of the economy is real. We're talking about the largest bank on the planet. The last one, Robert Greenfield, retired head of NASDAQ. 100% of the stocks and bonds being issued on Wall Street today could be tokenized. And in five years, 100% will be tokenized. I don't know if I agree 100%, but there's 250 trillion in assets, there's 200 trillion in real estate assets alone that are illiquid, illiquid, where you could sell off a percentage of them. If a half a percent do this, we're talking about a trillion dollar industry. More evidence. Does anybody know what this is? Okay, this is a painting by the late Andy Warhol. He sold it at auction about two, three months ago for $5 million, which is kind of normal. What's pretty cool is he decided to tokenize 30% of this asset. What does that mean? That means you could own $10,000 of it, $20,000, $15,000, you could put $10,000 in it. So you're, you're owning an asset, it's selling off a piece of an asset that you could own. Otherwise, it's gonna be owned by one person. It makes sense, especially when it comes to real estate or illiquid assets. So this is the first painting that tokenized, which you're gonna see much more. So this trend isn't coming, it's here. If you look at digital security exchanges, I just said T0 is gonna launch their exchange next week. 
Coinbase just took over three companies that have licenses to do this. They're gonna be fully regulated trading security tokens. The St. Regis Aspen Hotel just tokenized their hotel, one of the most beautiful hotels that you, me, individual investors can now have a piece of. DX Exchange is tokenized the largest tech stocks for one-to-one, -one, which means you could buy Apple, Tesla, Google, Netflix through a token. If it's Apple, it's gonna also pay you a dividend. Why is that a big deal? Well, if you like a company in Hong Kong, or if you like a company in New Zealand, it's not that easy to buy. Now you have a global exchange that trades 24 hours a day. Apple just warned the stock fell 7%. Well, you could trade your token because it's 24 hours, which is pretty cool. You don't know if it's gonna open up, it fell 10% the next day. The first NASDAQ listed company tokenized its top cancer drug. It's a biotech company that's been listed for 10 years. Think about that. We're at a mining conference and I'm talking about that. So say every company has good assets and bad assets. Let's use GE as an example. So if you're looking at GE, you know what, I wouldn't want to buy GE now. Yes, it was a past recommendation. But I wouldn't want to be GE now. But you know what, their power business is terrible. Their insurance business is terrible. But I'd like to own their aviation business. I'd like to own their healthcare business. So they're able to tokenize a portion of those assets where you could own the best assets. Imagine these mining companies doing that. We're tokenizing their best assets. Why is this a big deal? If you're looking at investment banks and venture capitalists, what do these guys do? I know, I've been on Wall Street. They're middlemen. This is the only industry I know of that hasn't been disrupted in hundreds of years. I mean, we've seen the travel agencies with Priceline and Expedia. We've seen Amazon.com, you keep going and going. What do they do? Well, here, you have millions of dollars in my account, here's an idea, here you go, you guys meet, give me 6% and I'll take 6% of the shares. If you're a small company, they'll take 10, 15% just for being the middleman. Imagine not having that anymore. No special privileges or you need a $20 million account at Goldman Sachs to get the best deals. Exchanges, CME, ICE, NASDAQ. No more reporting quarterly financials. Why do we report quarterly financials anyway? You need to know what goes on every three months? No, it's fees for accountings and lawyers and stuff like that. Every three months, I mean, for those of you who have businesses out there, yeah, you gotta have good months and bad months. So we really need report every three months. What does that promote? It promotes financial engineering, which I see all the time. It's legal, but it promotes it because you're gonna get some contracts in some months, some others, issue buyback in certain months. Crowdfunding platforms, and these things to me are all a joke. You do not get equity stake, Indiegogo, Kickstarter, the ICO market, you're not getting equity stakes in these companies at all. They're just middlemen that take fees for introducing the idea to people. Those days are gonna be over. Royalty companies, companies like Newmont Mining. I mean, Newmont Mining is pretty cool, right? Royalty companies, I'm sure a lot of you own it. They're great, they're awesome, but what about the other side? Newmont Mining, if you look at those, and I've studied these contracts with royalty companies. If they don't produce on time, I mean, there's clauses where instead of buying gold for $800, they're buying for $500, $600. Why go through all that trouble when you could tokenize your best asset? 20% of Newmont, one of their best assets. I'd love to own that, their best project. I'm gonna make a prediction. Nobody here is talking about tokenization. By next year, I bet you 5% of the companies here are raising money that way. Now real quick, Curzio Equity Owners token our details to our deal. To credit investors, that's what's gonna be available, that's what we have to do based on the laws. It's a $25,000 minimum. It's a Reg D filing, so it's limited investors. Your lockup period is gonna be 12 months. You have a limited supply of tokens, which is unlike anything you see in the market, so there's gonna be no dilution. We're gonna come out in five bucks. And the payment method, if you're used to, if you've gotten some of these things, it's either Bitcoin or Ethereum, but it's also gonna be US dollars, like a traditional payment. You could invest in fiat. Why is that important? Because a lot of the ICOs right now, and a lot of the coins on the market, the utility tokens, when they raise money at the top of the market, they would never transferred their money over to dollars. So they raised $10 million, it's $2 million because they kept it in Ethereum and they kept it in Bitcoin, which crashed 80% plus. You don't know that. They're not entitled to tell you that. They're only entitled to give you a token. That's why the industry is a lot of trouble and that's why this industry is gonna excel. We begin on February 1st. We already filed the Reg D. The white paper is available now, by now, in about three days. Just one more legal review. 
It's all designed, it's gonna be found on our website, cursorresearch.com. And the private sale is gonna be open for the first two weeks to individual investors, people who follow me, my newsletter, listen to my podcast only. I'm not gonna open it up to funds in the first two weeks, which is gonna give you a 10% bonus on basically your investment, whatever that is, because this is about the individual investor. What you get as a token holder, a direct equity stake incurs your research. We're selling 25% equity in our company, so you can participate in the long-term growth. We're gonna pay a 3% annual dividend. I'm not allowed to say we're going to or it's guaranteed. I have to say based that we plan to. But we plan to pay a dividend of 3%, which is higher than the S&P 500 if you own an index fund, which is pretty cool. And you're gonna own that during your lockup period, which is the first 12 months. We're gonna pay a dividend. We're gonna intend to pay a dividend. You're gonna get a free lifetime membership to all of our paid products. We have five paid products. We're gonna launch a lot more, we're growing fast. This membership alone, our competitors charge $25,000 or more for, and you're gonna get that as part of your investment. Now, one of the biggest things is you're also gonna get access to crypto intelligence, and this is very important. Because in the past six months, I've given up my life, basically. I have two young daughters, wife, kids, work through the holidays. This is one of the most difficult things I ever did. So being first to the party is sometimes hard. You're merging two industries that hardly anybody knows about. We hired the best lawyers, we hired Securitize, which is gonna do our token for us, create our token. They're one of the best in the industry. They just received over $12 million in investments to grow their company. And during this process and sending all this information out and getting advice from my closest contacts, they love this idea, they think it's gonna be huge. And they wanna create their own tokens. They're waiting for me to see if I fall on my face first. <laughs> it is a new industry and this is innovative. But it's gonna give you access to some of the greatest ideas in the very early stages. Think about if you were able to participate in a venture capitalist fund during the internet years. You don't have to buy Facebook and Twitter when they went public, you're getting in early stages. It's a big difference. This newsletter is gonna focus on getting into STOs and we have people right now, even a mentor of mine, largest bond fund manager, independent bond fund manager, manages over $15 billion, is looking to raise money through a token. Having access to that and also getting into private sales and getting discounts, that's really cool. It's gonna give you access that you're not gonna get probably anyplace else. Before I go, let me go over the risks real quick and I'm running a couple minutes late. Regulatory, it is a new industry. We're under Reg D filing, so we're not gonna be registered with the SEC, but you're looking at the exchanges, you wanna make sure that AML compliant, which is anti-laundering, KYC, all this regulation is coming out over the next six months. Liquidity, we're guaranteed liquidity from Securitize, which means we're accompanied through Bancor. So in 12 months, when you wanna trade this token, you're gonna be able to trade it or we can go to exchanges. We're doing everything by the book. Every customer's gonna be monitored. We're gonna know everything this way, just like if you open up a broker's account. This way we can go to the T-Zeros, the Coinbases, and trade our token on the exchange. That's what we plan to do, to launch it on the exchange to provide more liquidity for you. And then the normal risks. We're a small business, we're first to market, which is sometimes good, but Alta Vista was first to market, BlackBerry was first to market, look at that turned out. So there are risks. But when I look at this, and being in the industry for 25 years, and again, someone that prides myself on bringing ideas to you before you hear about them, before they mention the mainstream media, I can tell you, I mean, if I'm wrong, yes, you're gonna risk your investment. But if I'm right, if I'm right, you're gonna look at generating returns, not 5X, 10X, 15X, which you see if the cycle turns in mining, but this is something that could offer you returns that are going to be life-changing. And so much so that I'm not BSing you is that I'm basing my company and my reputation on it by creating this token. So it's gonna be available to everybody. Anyone's interested, you can email me at frank at curseyourresearch.com. It's frank at curseyourresearch.com. And guys, thanks so much for your time and hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the conference. I can answer your questions afterwards. I think I'm three minutes late. I'll be right over here. All right, guys.